Whether or not you believe in karma, it's like saying, do you believe in science? Or do you believe in the world? Or do you believe in a certain religion, right? The, the fact is, is when you believe it, it's going to amplify that experience in your life. The most important thing to understand about karma, to really have an impact on your life, is how to let go of the past. Because if it's true that karma is a result of actions and thoughts and interactions that have come from the past and we are then seeing the present results of that, in many cases, since our lives are full of suffering and they're full of hardship and lots of challenges, the more that we can let go of the past, the more that we can see the beauty in the present. In the context of family karma, it's showing how one brother was able to transform the energy coming down through the family, right? And the other brother was not able to transform that energy. My father was worth $50 million. So he knew it was his responsibility to turn it into good energy. And he had the intelligence and the commitment and the mental stability, right? The stability in his heart and mind in order to be able to make that transformation possible. It's really about personal responsibility and you having control over your mind and you having control over your intentions and you having that presence of mind that gives you the poise with which to make decisions in relationship to that karma. Veda Mela is a very special spiritual Ayurveda and yoga event. This unique LA spirit that brings together the creative, the spiritual, and the healing powers, and the experience all in one beautiful package. Apparently, there is a new beauty regimen that is taking over Hollywood called oil pulling. She sure is clean. Gwyneth Paltrow even trades mouthwash for coconut oil. Oil pulling and the use of oil in Ayurvedic medicine is uh, over 4,000 years old. It's a very, very gentle way of, of removing debris and toxins from the tissue. Ayurvedic practitioner Kailash explains the health benefits. In the case of coconut oil, coconut oil is great because it's cooling, it's full of essential fatty acids, and so it restores and brings balance to tissue. Sesame oil is used because it's very balancing. There are a lot of commentaries on the Yoga Sutras. And uh, for a long time, uh, I, I, myself and many other people who have studied them have found them extremely confusing. But hearing you uh, lecture on the Yoga Sutras, it, all of a sudden everything makes sense. And what's, what's so special about the transmission that you have that you understand this? Uh, the, the, you see, Yoga Sutra is a very, very clearly written uh, text, you know, there is uh, very little ambiguity. You studied with Krishnamacharya, it was uh, in Madras, right? Yes. So that's after the Mysore days. Right. Um, people are talking about how his uh, style of teaching changed yeah. from Mysore. And uh, do you know, um, was that because he was just being employed by the Maharaja and he had to do specific things in that context? What was more natural for him, I think? No, I mean, uh, I see, when you are beginning to teach, you teach in a particular way or a period of time, you know, you, you acquire uh, a kind of experience. One thing I noticed was that Krishnamacharya has uh, had several students who lived to 100 years old, and he himself, I heard that at his 100th birthday, he gave a three hour lecture in Sanskrit, not stopping. Yeah. And uh, I think that anybody who has any uh, concern for healing or eating right or whatever we're into here in America, you know, or, uh, needs to understand that there's a fact that there are 100 year old disciples of this man. And there are, that's a very special thing. Wait, are you going to live to 100? <laughs> and you started talking about it, I got late. <laughs> <laughs> well, I plan on living to 120. Okay. That's my goal.